Lots of actually pretty good and exciting stuff in this video today. Uh, this is a recap, uh, a clip from our show we did a couple of days ago on the Sheep Esports uh, Twitch channel. So you guys should definitely go over there, check that out, drop a follow, drop a sub so you don't miss out on any of the, the awesome shows and upcoming live streams and content we're going to be doing over there. But today, uh, we're talking about SK Gaming mostly. Uh, we do have a little bit of spicy Niski drama, you know, maybe some, some things going on between Niski and the org. That's actually going to be the last topic that we cover in this video. So if you're just here for the Niski drama, make sure you skip ahead, skip towards the last couple of minutes in the video um, but otherwise we have uh, some news about SK's bot lane SK's new top laner um, some news about Adam so hopefully they'll be hitting on a little bit of a bunch of different stuff that people are actually curious uh, and wanting to know about uh, yeah just wanted to say that real quick for you guys let's get into the clip okay guys 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 we have we have big news for SK we have big news for SK because SK <laughs> I, I, I see for Niski, Niski is not chilled, guys. Uh, Genax is going to join SK Gaming into LEC next year. He's going to return to SK Gaming because that's his former organization. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, uh, a scoop for now. Uh, it, it got just decided uh, yesterday, uh, Genax we just won EMEA Masters, um, which means that one more player of from BDS Academy uh, is locked into LEC. We know that Paris from the same team is into LEC. We expect Skumon to be into LEC, uh, but uh, oh, Riker uh, also uh, is on SK Gaming. So this is like the fourth player, um, probably, uh, of BDS Academy who is going to be into LEC. Uh, he's returning to SK Gaming. Uh, SK Gaming considered uh, other top laners. Uh, one of them was uh, Photon. They also had some talks with, with, with Adam, um, but uh, they decided on, on Genax. Um, the assistant coach of uh, SK Gaming was also with, with Team BDS. Um, yeah, so I know that a lot of LEC fans know about Genax, and he hasn't been always that that biggest superstar uh, for the team, but I feel like he, it's it's not always the case for veterans, but I feel like Genax is one of those veterans that try to improve himself uh, playing in the LFL. So yeah, curious to see how it turns out. Yeah, and uh, one of the things, uh, obviously, I'm glad we could get some breaking news out on the show. Uh, definitely something you guys can expect from the show. Whenever we have stuff, we want to actually be bringing to you stuff, uh, you know, live on here. I think that is very, very exciting. But one of the things I see in the chat right now is uh, some people, you know, having some Fs in the chat for Adam and saying, you know, another top lane position in the LEC uh, means maybe one less spot for Adam to go. Um, maybe some people being upset about that. I know people are pretty polarized, whether they want to see Adam in the LEC or want to see him not on a team or whatever. Um, does anyone have anything to, to maybe touch on Adam a little bit real quick? just so the Twitch chat can be satisfied? Mm, I think I feel bad for him, but I think the top laner spot is really rough right now on, on LEC and also a lot of upcoming top laners. We haven't seen many changes. So, yeah, no, not much not much to say about that. I don't know if Wulu wants to, to add anything. He was also quite open on his stream about his feelings and feeling that he's really underrated on LEC and, and people are sleeping onto him. But well, if any guy does it like shit himself, uh, you can always come back to, to LEC. I'm doing my cheat case. Okay, I, I can talk uh, <laughs> if you want. So uh, yeah, in, in the mid lane, they, they got Breaker. Uh, was a priority, to, to be full honest. Uh, they had other options, but in the end, uh, Heretics was interested in Breaker, uh, also SK, and and they they decided to go. Uh, they decided to go for for him. I think he's a good who has a lot of talent. To to be honest, uh, he had his shot in the LEC before, uh, but this year for me was like, if not the best, one of the best uh, mid laners in in the regional leagues. So. Let's see how it goes. Um, I think this roster can can be really good too. I don't know if to go worlds, but uh, we will see. Uh, time will will speak. 
Yeah, and, and obviously I'm happy to have another guy uh, added to our transfer hub, you know, just another another name being checked off the list, which is crazy. We're, you know, we're running out of spots in the LEC very, very fast. Um, you know, now that we have, uh, obviously, Gen X, we have uh, Isma, we have Reeker. Um, any news on the SK bot lane? Do we have any updates about, you know, anything that, that fans can kind of hang on to there for SK? Because uh, that's, I know, two openings that we have on our spreadsheet, at least. Well, they have been trying out some things, but... I think they're still undecided. I think there are high chances we can uh, see Rachel next year also on SK, but I'm not so sure about support, but it's still an open topic. Yeah. Yeah. For that can be changed into a lane next year. Uh, support, I think, is more likely to change than ADC, but Luan is still, uh, still likely to stay. Uh, uh, I think they considered uh, Kedri uh, alongside uh, Rael, but um, I think Rael is much more likely uh, to be the, on the team. Um, and yeah, I, th- I think uh, I think that's that's about it. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, and then, of course, anytime you mention SK, and, and right when we did, I saw the Twitch chat start going crazy. Uh, you know, with the spamming of Free Niski, obviously, um, I know he's been very active, very vocal on all different kinds of social media, streams, Twitter, all that stuff. Uh, and I think Wulu had some stuff to add there. Just on the whole Niski situation, what we can talk about, can't talk about, uh, what do you have as far as just maybe what's going on with Niski overall? Okay, so a lot of people asked about Niski today uh, on Twitter because he made some uh, cryptic tweets uh, trying to steal my job. But uh, actually, it's not. So I don't know what uh, Niski means, but I do have an information about SK Gaming uh, that I don't know if this is what Niski is referring to, but it made, because it's not affecting just Niski. It's affecting uh, Isma too. But SK Gaming is doing something uh, very unique. I, I don't know if you guys know it. But yeah, I, um, I can you up on, on this thing. <laughs> but basically, what SK Gaming is is doing uh, has been doing for the past uh, few months, at least ever since they finished the season uh, in summer this year. Uh, to Niski, uh, to Isma, to some players, they are paying the bench rate of players um, uh, for the months where they don't play uh, competitive. So usually. Usually, uh, players get a salary all year in TLEC, but SK Gaming, they are doing something different. Is once the season finished, they decided to pay uh, the bench rate to some players. Like, technically, they are not benched because there is no season to play, but they are paying some players are being being paid their bench salary. So. T- uh, like, let's say Niski stays, uh, for example, with SK Gaming next year in the LEC, and he doesn't play in mid lane because they have Riker, then it's it's usual uh, that the player would be paid his bench rate. But it's very unusual that a player uh, is already being paid uh, a bench rate. Yeah. So that's that's the information. Yeah. Right, his, his bench rate oh, while it's still the 2024 right. season, while it's still world, while he you know played, yeah exactly while he played the most recent games for the team as well. Um, so yeah, that definitely uh, at the very least sounds spicy. Um, you know, if not you know some some medium sized drama or whatever. So uh, definitely interesting stuff there. Glad we could get that out. I'm sure there will be a lot of uh, discussion about that all over the social medias and stuff. Um, but yeah, obviously maybe a little bit of a hairy situation. Hopefully, uh, obviously everyone involved with that is is okay and. You know, able to sort those things out because obviously it doesn't sound like too great of a situation, or you know, it doesn't sound like it'd be fun to be part of. Um, so hopefully we can get those things straightened out, and hopefully we don't see. I, I'm sure most of us don't want players to be other players and other teams to get the ideas that that's something okay to do, or you know, for for other players to be affected by that in the future. Because um, obviously for some people, you know, Niski, a, a guy who's been around for a long time, whatever, he still should get the money he deserves. But I'm sure for some players that could maybe be a bigger deal um, than than some others as well. Uh, I just have one to add one last disclaimer to what I just said. Uh, the information that's just shared was told by, told by me to me by, by sources. 
Everything we are doing here at Sheep Esports for the rest of 2024 is powered by Holy. Uh, this is an awesome company that makes great tasting energy drinks that also just so happen to be healthier than the competition as well. They sent me this starter set deluxe, which comes with a Holy shaker and then 14 individual servings of Holy energy, Holy hydration, and Holy iced tea. So you get a ton of awesome stuff uh, for a great price. And if you want to get even better price, check out the first link in the description below. Use discount code SE5 to get five euros off your first order or SE10 to get 10% off your entire basket. If you guys want to help continue uh, to allow us to provide the amazing coverage of both worlds uh, and the off season that you guys uh, know and love, uh, definitely check out Holy, buy some stuff. It would mean the world to us. Thanks.